I'd now like to welcome on stage winner of Best Supporting Actress, <laughs> Rachel Weiss. Congratulations! Yay. I'm so happy about this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look absolutely stunning as well. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so tell me, when you first got the script, was this a really easy yes for you? Y yes. <laughs> yeah, it was an extraordinary piece of writing. Um, plus, I knew that Yorgos Lanthimos was directing. I'd worked with him before. I would, do, I would do with any script, even a not very good script I would do with him. <laughs> would I'd, you tell him it wasn't very good? Um, I know, because I'd assume that he's gonna, got something in mind that he's going to turn it into. He's a pretty visionary person. And tell me about working with your two incredible co-stars as well. It w they're both just so extraordinary, Olivia and Emma. Um, the whole cast, Nicholas Holt, there's too many people to name, but the the main story is the, th the three women. And it was just a joy every day to watch them work and be in scenes with them and, and get to work opposite them. We had a, a lot of fun. What were the biggest challenges for filming something like this? The biggest challenges? I mean, the challenges were all in Yorgos's hands in, in that we didn't really know, I didn't really know that when we saw the final film that it was going to be a, a, love, a tragic love story, a political thriller, an absurd comedy, a ridiculous farce, uh, you know, the genres go on. So I don't know, I mean, I think he faced all those challenges. Mm -hmm. He just allowed us to just play our parts and, and have a lot of fun. There's no, I'm sure everyone's heard this about Yorgos, but he doesn't, you know, sit and analyze or discuss. There's no discussion. So I don't know, we just did it. He just said action and we did it. Yeah. There are so many like really special fun moments in this film. Was there one that particularly stands out for you that was a really good day on set film? Well, a challenge, here we go for something challenging. I've just remembered. Um, the dance that Joe Alwyn and myself did in the in the Great Hall. That was a challenging thing. I've never danced professionally um, before. So it was quite a complicated dance to learn. But when I saw the final film, I saw that the scene was really about the Queen and it was this giant close up on Olivia Coleman's face as she realizes that she's wheelchair bound and has gout and that she's not agile and she can't dance and watching her face turn from uh, enjoyment to envy to just utter tragic pain mm -hmm. on a dime like that is it's just she's such an extraordinary yeah. actress um, I'd like to open it up to the audience yep yeah, got a gentleman in the front row Hi, Rachel. Uh, congratulations. Thank um, you. Obviously, a lot's been made of your great performance and Emma's and Olivia's. Um, and you think because you three worked well together, do you, do you think that made your own performance better working with them? Oh, definitely. I would say, well, I'll speak for myself. My performance completely relied on the other two. I think it would be fair to say that each one of us relied on the other two. It was, a, I think, a true ensemble. They definitely made me better, yes, to answer your question. Thank you. Lady Congratulations Thank on you. your award. Um, obviously, you share some kind of uh, more intimate scenes with Olivia in in the film. How do you sort of approach sort of scenes like that normally? Um, and, uh, sorry, oh. um, what I meant sort of um, in terms of like intimate, I mean like the sort of scenes where you're sort of having like sexual encounters together and that kind of thing. Where I snog Olivia Coleman. You want yeah. to know how I approach <laughs> <Yeah>. that? <laughs> you know, out. just my mouth met hers and. Our mouths opened. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> There's not really preparation involved in kissing someone. I don't think. I, I don't know of any that. Um, I was. My character was in love with her and had. Um, but they had been lovers since they were girls. I mean, teenagers. Mm -hmm. I don't, well, there wasn't an age of consent for women anyway. We weren't counted as. <laughs> it didn't matter between women. I don't think there is, still isn't even now, is there? No, I don't think. I don't think so. Um, so yeah, no, no, no preparation. Just she's just gorgeous and lovely. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Gentlemen, there and then that. Hey Rachel, congratulations. Hello. Um, I know this is Thank kind of you. a very basic question, but you're holding the BAFTA. I think it was 13 years ago that you were nominated. Yeah. The last time, and you know, now you've walked off that stage. Just hold that up for us. I just want to know how you feel. <laughs> I know, I, I, it's, I, I'm a bit shell-shocked, actually. Um, it's very, 
it's a tr massive, tremendous honour. I'm very flattered. I'm very chuffed. It's very, it's just completely lovely. I'm a tiny bit shell shocked. I'm slightly like talking about things without a bit shell shocked. Yeah. <laughs> so shell shocked. But thank you. Yeah. Back to what's just happened. I just won a BAFTA. It's yeah, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Sorry, this is slightly lame as well, following on that theme. Uh, what sort of person are you when Snogging you... Snogging Olivia <laughs> Colman. No, it's I feel, not. No, not that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Do you, Happy to talk about do it. Do you have your award on show at home? Where are you going to put it? Is it like when people walk in the house, you're like, yeah, what a BAFTA? Um, I, I'm very proud, incredibly proud, but I, I don't think I'll put it, no, on show. I'll put it somewhere private. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where is that? Um, I have a study. Yeah. I have a, uh, yeah, I have a study. I put it in my study. Yeah. Rachel, thank you very much. Thank you. Have we got time for one more? Oh. Have we got time for one more? Uh, one more. Excellent. Very quickly over there. Thank you. And congratulations on your BAFTA. Thank you. Um, a year on from the Time's Up campaign, do you think it's significant that the favourite seems to be doing so well, considering that it stars three female leads? Um... I think it's a lovely coincidence. I don't see the favourite um, as being... Uh, I mean, time's up about women getting together to say we don't want to be um, harassed or abused. Um, and this is a film, a story that happened hundreds of years ago about women who are very much in power and um, sometimes abusing each other, in fact. <laughs> But I think I completely understand your question, but I think nobody, they've been trying to make the film for 20 years, so it's just a lovely coincidence that it came out at this time. Yeah. Thank you so much, and thank you so much, Rachel, for joining thank us. You. Congratulations thank again. You. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.